this is sort of relevant for a couple of reasons today. A couple of people have asked me in different ways relating to a couple of topics. Why did I stop using forums? The first thing is I found that people take things off on a tangent on a regular basis and it just loses momentum. If I go on a GOAT forum, for example, and there is actually Philippines GOAT forums, um, there is information that is specifically for that. In the forums, you can start having a conversation about GOATs and then somebody will randomly go, there's no money in GOATs, there's no money in it. And their viewpoint is purely based on that's their opinion but they will state it as fact they won't turn around and say because and that this is one of my frustrations when people do stuff on online is not justifying something because any argument can be um, justified if people actually want to you know if you turn around and say Matt I hate your channel because I don't really care you know at the end of the day Everybody has their own preference. This is why I was saying about uh, Ned's channel, etc. Um, Life Beyond the Sea, um, Jeff Lee's channel even is starting to progress along. Um, there is different groups. The internet is huge. I don't see anybody with over a million subscribers within the Philippines for <laughs> bloggings. Um, that's a foreigner. Um, I would say things like ABS, CBN and stuff have no problem pulling those sort of numbers. Um, but for the majority of expats, they will never reach those figures. Um, not because the expats are now good, but it's just specific to a niche. But also, you find the vloggers you're comfortable with. On a forum, it gets watered down. You can have some very good people on there, and what happens is you get all this chatter over the top, and you start to lose the momentum. You start trying to say, oh, I was interested in it, and then other people start interrupting. It's a bit like um, having a conversation with somebody, in the, and somebody constantly keeps walking in front trying to chat. You know, They want to put their opinion above everybody else's. I can't be bothered with it. I really can't be bothered with it. Um, and I know somebody just commenting relating to somebody posting contradictions because they dislike what other people were doing, but I've now said that they actually do what they that those were doing, the people that he said it was wrong for them to do it. That is a prime example of the sort of stuff you will find in forums. Um, because people argue for argument's sake a lot of the time. There is some hidden areas on the Philippines forums where people will sit there and slate those people that can't see it. Um, I won't go into it too much because I don't use the forums anymore myself. Um, but they do slag people off. And it's not justified. I can understand if it was somebody trolling or something, but sometimes they just dislike people and having these little uh, clubhouse areas, they just sit there doing doing it out of a negative viewpoint. I can't be bothered with the negativity in the world. Um, it's why I don't live in the UK. A lot of the expats that are not only out of the UK to the Philippines, but Spain, other countries have all, the, the ones I've spoken to, felt the same way. That the UK has this angry attitude lately. And I know a lot of it's been driven by the immigration issues, etc. But the immigration issue is not really a big one. The big one's the economy. The big one is the banks are ripping everybody off. The big one is that the country is riddled with debt and we have some very hard decisions to make, yet they're not being made and never will be until something really bad happens um, what I mean is we have a deficit we don't have a debt we're way beyond debt we are not paying off our debts but the joke being that the UK imports more than it actually absorbs so or exports so if I was running the government I would actually be looking at reducing our imports significantly and I'm not being funny, when you buy cheap screwdrivers, I thought I had one on my desk, I haven't, 
I've actually got a good quality one here. Um, when you buy cheap screwdrivers, you will find that they last a year or whatever. You get one of those pound shop ones, the heads, you know the ones, the ones where you turn the screwdriver and the head comes off the screwdriver, you know, it just uh, cracks the actual screwdriver rather than undoing the screw. They're junk. We shouldn't be buying them. This in the this with a country that turns around and tells us we should be environmental and everything else. It's lying. What it should be doing is not importing those cheap imports. Um, we should actually be buying one screwdriver, good quality one, that will last a lifetime. That's my mentality, and it's my lifestyle. Somebody even mentioned about my shelves behind us because they're flat pack. I wasn't sure if they're being sarcastic or actually asking if they come from IKEA. Um, but we are mobile. We have, because we don't own this house, all the furniture that we own goes flat pack. Even the table this is sat on will all go flat. We can actually get everything in the van if we moved because I'm hoping some of these business ideas will get up and running this year um, because I want to buy the apartment just up the road. A nice three bedroom apartment. I'm a bit wary of the underground parking on it now because We've got a van that may not actually fit in the uh, the underground. Might hit the roof, but we'll see. Completely off tangent. <laughs> but the whole point I was saying about the forums is there's too much negativity for me. I can't be bothered with it. I like People can email me direct, and they often do. And if you do get no response to an email or a comment sometime, it's normally because I've responded to it on my phone sent the message and it just disappeared into the internet somewhere and never sent to you um, but when I, when I look at my phone it says it sent it and that's happened a few times because I've had people work wise say why don't you respond to my emails and I'm like I sent you an email ages ago and then when I've gone through it's like there you can see it's sent but then they're going well I never got it and then you find out Sometimes it just doesn't do it. LinkedIn's one of my worst ones. I, it nearly never sends emails off my phone. Um, but what I'm, I, one, what I want from everybody here is to look for the life you want. Um, you will see that we're developing stuff slowly now. Uh, things are starting to move. And people are saying, oh, is there money on the vlogging for the Philippines? As I say, don't concentrate on the Philippines. You have skills already there. It doesn't matter what it is. There is people looking for it. Stuff on my van gets small bits of hits. Once they're on the internet, they're there. They're making money all the time. It's all these little bits of money that are important. Um, there is other stuff I'm about to do. That when you... Once I've developed it, you'll suddenly go, why didn't I think of that? Because there's a lot of stuff around you that is in a similar way where you can make money if you turn around and go, that's a good idea. And just motivate yourself and get started with it. See, a lot of stuff is pushed in a negative way. Self-employment in the UK was often shunned about uh, shunned because of national insurance contributions and all sorts of problems um, when people didn't do their accounts properly and the system changed and and a lot of people got burned for a couple of years of payments I know a guy I did some work from a while back he got a national insurance bill for thirty thousand pounds for people that contracted to him um, they weren't employees of his, but the way he'd set the business up, they just went, give us £30,000, which he had to mortgage his house. There's a lot of stuff like that you have to be very wary of. Um, but at the same time, self-employment is where the freedom is because you can get everything tax deductible. You can get your car repaired and book it in as an expense. Your fuel, general expense having a coffee in the morning at a restaurant, it's meetings, that sort of stuff. They're all expenses. Um, but I just wanted to bring up, the, you know, I'm off on a tangent again, but I just wanted to say, look, the channels are what they are. Um, take the information and just absorb it, look at it. If it seems like it's a load of rubbish, 
it probably is. If it seems that it's on par with multiple other people, that you, because this is why I will say use multiple sources, then you're right. It's going to be pretty on par because those different people um, have different lives, different mindsets even, but are coming back consistent anyway. Uh, cost of living in the Philippines, for example, you will find a consistency around a certain figure, and it's because so many people live in those brackets. Um, you will also find that some of the information is slightly different between certain individuals, but you still end up with the same result. So bear that in mind, um, because I do these videos to actually help people. I like sharing information. I like expanding things out. I like making sure people don't make the mistakes that some others have. Um, I think the number of dead people I know in the Philippines in some form is 18, um, which is way more than I had <laughs> um, for the... For the uh, more than the 30 odd years prior to that so this is why I do it is to make people aware the Philippines is a wonderful country the Philippines can offer a great way of life but you need to you need to absorb that there are risks there you need to absorb that a lot of the time things go wrong because people have a false sense of security and safety um, but it doesn't prevent you enjoying life because you will find that when you spend a bit of time analyzing things you start to get a pattern of what you should be doing um, I've mentioned before about the guy that turned up in renting my apartment first day he's been there an hour goes out in the jeep and he gets robbed. After me telling him, don't go anywhere, I'll take you into the town, etc. He gets robbed on the jeep and he, what was in his bag? His entire month's budget. Um, not only that, it's what you Americans call a fanny pack, where we, we call it a bum bag in the UK. But the, the fact that I wouldn't advise carrying one of those anyway, because what they do is they slash it with a razor blade. The same with a backpack, they will slash slash your backpack and just let the stuff drop and take it. You have to be aware these things happen, but you have to be aware that if you know how they happen, you you can actually protect yourself from it. And this is why this channel exists in the first place. Anyway, I'm off to bed. Thanks for watching.